Hey, what's happening, good people? Mo Beasley here. Some of you may know me, the poet, actor, educator, author, activist, and the founder and headmaster of Urban Erotica, the house that lusts to build and loves safe from damnation, an erotic performance art series that I've been producing and hosting for over 10 years. That conversation has been a place where all walks of life and all cultures that express eroticism get told and supported and nurtured. The conversation has been a journey of guerrilla art producer. We've done it with no funding, no support, and now here in the next decade and beyond, Urban Erotica has become a visionary business that needs your support and your help. It's become a visionary business by partnering with amazing organizations and people who have taken this art form and sharpened it, and shaped it into something powerful that expands this conversation that redefines erotica around the globe. Please welcome Shannon Lauer, our Artistic Associate Director of Hell of a Day in Productions, and Jennifer Heslop, our General Manager of Motivate Arts. Come on in, ladies. Say hello. 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 This, is new, <laughs> this is the new producing team of Urban Erotica, again, that is taking this conversation around the globe, that is building this into a visionary business. Shannon, how is Motivate, how is Hell of a Day? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Moving this Urban Erotica conversation in business He confuses forward. us. I know, they look so much alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a day. Hell of a day. All right. Basically, what I do is um, I find the talent, I cast the talent, I direct the talent, um, I shape the show, come up with concepts. Exactly. Pieces I direct Tighten. and I act. Tighten the show. I fine tune. There you go. And basically just help shape what was already there. Thank you. Yeah. Ms. Heslop, how do you make it happen? What I do as general manager is try to tighten the structure. She's definitely the creative part. I'm more the structure business part of it and trying to manage us all, keeping the team on task, on goal, focused, and moving in a very structured way. So that's what I do. We're getting her a whip for Christmas. I have whips already. She just doesn't. I know she does. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> And I'm very thankful for the whip and the rose <laughs> that is keeping this urban erotica conversation growing. And that's the important thing. This conversation is growing. It's growing in many wonderful ways. And one of the most important ways that it's growing right now is the urban erotica documentary film that's been produced by award-winning filmmaker Nicole Franklin of Epiphany Inc. The film is in the can. And I want to thank everyone who supported the film on the pre-production end and has helped to get Nicole and her team to get the film edited to this place. Now, to get the film out of the can, we need your help with the post-production cost, like audio syncing and mastering and all that fun, sexy, technical things. So, we're here at this Indiegogo campaign to let you know what we're doing and how we need your help. And again, the Urban Erotica documentary, An Odyssey and Eros, captures what we've been doing for the first 10 years. In this documentary film, you get to hear from the artists and the audience members about what this experience called Urban Erotica has meant to them. Beyond just a night of entertainment, it has been a night of empowerment, where women get affirmed and men get enlightened, where men get affirmed and women get enlightened, from all walks of life and from all cultures. We've just been blessed with these opportunities for the year 2013, and we're going to keep you updated with videos with more details and everything else that's coming up for this year that Urban you Erotica. can help out with. Yes, the Urban Erotica documentary, the Urban Erotica exhibition, the Urban Erotica panel discussions at Callis Khan in Washington, D.C. in yes. March 2013 mm -hmm. and Long Beach, California in September, where we expand the conversation around homophobia and communities of color and producing sex positive entertainment. Live streaming our live shows. Mm -hmm. There you go. And please keep stay in touch with us. Keep checking us out on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. We have so many things going on. We want to tell you all about it. And again, we need your support. We need your financial support. So, thank you. Yeah. And again, as always, wishing you love always. Peace.